The TS Wiki was established as a collaboration tool to serve people who study theosophy and the theosophical movement. It is a structured collection of articles that link to each other and to additional internet resources. The design and functioning will seem very familiar to anyone who uses Wikipedia. The main page has six sections. At the left is a toolbar that links to information about using the wiki. The community portal has background information, policies, and help files. It is the place to contact the administrators and to see announcements. There is a list of suggestions of how you might participate in the wiki project. Across the top of every page, there is another toolbar. At the top right, you will see the word login. All articles in the wiki can be read without logging in, but if you wish to edit articles, you must get a login ID from the administrators. TS Wiki editors must identify themselves. This is different from Wikipedia, where anonymity is allowed in a more freewheeling environment. Other features on this toolbar allow you to see any discussion that is taking place between editors. You can view the source code that converts language into the wiki format, and you can view a history of all changes made by various editors over time. On the right is a search box that helps you to locate information. For example, if you key in Olcott, the resulting list will show articles about Henry Steele Olcott, the Olcott campus of the Theosophical Society in America, and so on. Clicking on a blue title will take you to the article named, in this case, Henry Steele Olcott. Searching is easy for foreign language terms. If you want to see information about Sanskrit, key in Sanskrit and you will automatically be redirected to an article headed with that word spelled with correct diacritical markings. Initials of famous theosophists will also redirect appropriately. Back on the main page, there are four main sections. In the Blavatsky portal, you can explore a growing collection of information about Helena Petrovna Blavatsky. If you want to study the stanzas of Zian, you can click on the relevant stanza in the table of contents. Each term or phrase highlighted in blue can be clicked to lead you to a related article which may have a completely different name. For example, if you place your mouse over Universal Mind, you can go to the article Mahat. In each article about a term or concept, such as Dangma, the first paragraphs give a brief definition or explanation by Madame Blavatsky or one of the other earliest authorities. Other interpretations or traditions are given in clearly identified sections of an article, as in this one about elements, where you see the Theosophical, Hindu, Buddhist, Greek, and other viewpoints. The table of contents will help you to navigate the article. We are trying to maintain a high level of scholarship in wiki articles by using bibliographic citations for sources and keeping a neutral tone in the writing. At the bottom right of the main page, there is a space for a feature that is under development called This Day in History. Click on the calendar and select a date like February 17. You can see events, births, deaths, and holidays for that date. At the bottom left of the page, there is a section linking to categories. This provides another means of navigating the wiki. Select, for example, occupations 
and then editors to see a list of people in this profession. The article about Charles Johnston, shown here, is identified as needing expansion. At the bottom of the page, you will see the ways in which Charles Johnston has been categorized. Writers, editors, Sanskrit scholars, associates of HPB, that is people who knew Madame Blavatsky during her lifetime, nationality as Irish, and as naturalized American, and as a person who was associated with the Theosophical Society headed by Ernest Temple Hargrove. Back in the categories section of the main page, you might also like to explore famous people or concepts and terminology or publications and artworks. Among the books you might like to see The Light of Asia. This article offers the publication history, links to digital versions, reviews, and much more. The final section of the main page is the Mahatma Letters Portal. A great deal of information is available here for studying the Mahatma Letters to AP Sinet and we hope to include additional sources of letters in the future. There is an article for each of 153 Mahatma letters and several navigational aids are provided. As a shortcut to locate letter number 82 in the chronological numbering, for example, you can enter ML82 in the search box. The first paragraph gives the numbering in the Barker editions of the book and a short summary of the letter's contents. A box at the right has a few quick facts about the letter, such as who wrote it and when. Navigational arrows take you to the next or previous letter in either numbering scheme. There is a section devoted to each page of the letter followed by other important information and commentary. The letter itself is presented in a three-column format with a transcription at the left, the image of the page in the center, and notes at the right. Clicking on the image gives you a window or tab with a full-color digitized photograph of that page. You can see erasures and the texture of the paper and how it was folded so that the letter comes to life as you study it. More information is being added every week and the possibilities are limitless. Please take some time to explore the TS Wiki and consider joining this project as an editor.